eighteen dollars. She founded the Single Girls Club and wrote a book that says women should date multiple men at the same time. That piqued our interest, of course, and that's why we are live with Stacey J. Johnson. You can see her. There she is, already in the loft. We're chatting on the other side of the break. When it comes to making a decision, we typically like to have options, yes. right? I mean, shoes, mm -hmm. clothes, wine. We like variety. Accessories. Exactly. And the list goes on. So why should it be any different when it comes to dating? So that's the idea behind a new book. It's called Date Girl. I want to say it like this. Date Girl. <laughs> that's how maybe it was supposed to be. 143 reasons why I believe women should date multiple men. So the concept is simple. It's all in the title. How women can respect and honor ourselves while searching for Mr. Right. Absolutely. Joining us now, the mastermind behind it all is Stacey J. Johnson. She is the founder of the Single Girls Club as well as a radio and television host and the star of a new reality show. It's called From the Bottom Up on Centric. Welcome to DC. Thank you, OMG. I'm so excited to be here. First of all, it is sunny. Yes! I'm the good side it of it. Is. We've been talking about how cold and windy it is. Know, see? We need you. It's all oh my about God. perspective. I brought right? That's right, exactly. Yes. All right, now let me tell you something. We're married ladies, okay. but I totally believe in this, and I wish I had done it, and I say it all the time. We oh, don't date, date enough. No. You never dated more than one guy no. at one time? No. Yeah, most either. women didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that I had, though. I always say it. Well, the premise of the book is single women give their most precious gift, monogamy, to right. men who have yet to show themselves deserving. So it's basically the story of my life, honestly. Mm -hmm. I would meet a guy. We'd go out on six dates. And I promise you, after those five or six dates, you were my boyfriend. Right. And guess what? Um, I would not pick up the phone for anyone else. Now, has this man shown himself deserving of me? Absolutely not. But I would be with him for a year. Then I'd do the next thing with the next guy. I'd go out six times. Then I'm your girlfriend. And I would be, well, I would be with you for two years. Mm -hmm. What I've learned is, ladies, my mother always told me that you only date one. She said, smart girls date one. No, smart girls date multiple. Because since I've been doing this for the last three years, I'm happier. I'm more self-discovered. I am more empowered and gunny. I have stopped settling. I love because it. That's I what I always say. Don't women. settle. Yes. Right. Don't, don't yeah. settle. That's what you never want you to do. You find yourself in these relationships. And I would be with a guy for two years. Mm -hmm. And I'd be on the phone with my girlfriend complaining. Yeah. But guess what? She would say, well, girl, you know, in Atlanta, there's 15 to 1. So he's not that bad. Mm -hmm. And then I would say... Absolutely, maybe he's not. So then I'd be with him another year. And then by then you go, well, shucks, I put in too much work. Right, yeah. right, right. I can't <laughs> leave now. Right. And you know, the thing is, if you really think about it, first of all, it's always been okay for guys to mate, date yeah, multiple girls at any it? one yeah, time. Right. And, and I don't know why we think it different when, when it's women. I'm going to say it when you're done. Okay. okay. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it. I'm going to be honest. Okay. okay. But what I'm saying is, if you think about it, like, if I'm trying a new shampoo or I'm trying, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, I will try a couple at one time and then decide which one I like. Right. Smart girl. So, I mean, I mean it just makes sense when we do it in in terms of products, you know, why don't we do it in terms of male products? Ah. Can I say it? You said it, Holly. Go ahead, it. Allison. I'm going to say it. Say it. Because a woman who dates multiple men is going to be labeled a hoe. Yeah. You know what? And in my book, you're exactly right. Right. In and that's book, not fair. I'm not I'm just saying Because a guy is a player. Right. right. And, and a girl is a, a hoe. But let me tell you, in my book, I talk about there's no intimacy while you're right. dating these multiple that's guys. That's important. Yeah, exactly. there's no... No, 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 no. I mean, we're oh, grown women. Not. But you can't. No, you can't right. remember that. We, we, <laughs> right. Holly, yeah, you're funny. Yeah. We are grown women. You can make your own choices, of course. But right. I say you only are dating one guy if there's any choice of intimacy. Mm -hmm. One of the things I heard also is they think that we, when a woman dates multiple men, she's less, she's commitment phobic, which is not the truth. No. Because it's actually, the right commitment. Right. Actually, exactly. You hold commitment at a higher regard. Right. Back in the day when I would just give myself to this one guy, mm -hmm. duh. Who's to say this guy's deserving of me? Commitment wasn't held in a high regard. Right. I honestly would just, okay, you can have me. Right. Who and here's that? the thing, though. You said that, but then what I've learned from a lot of my single friends, too, and it's a certain point where they want to say, where's this relationship going? Mm. And I always have said to them, that is the kiss of Killer. death. It exactly. is. So, but if we are empowered by we're out having a good time ourselves, then okay. you're not really worried about it. And you're that. not really worried about it until a certain point, I suppose, or if you get serious with that one guy. Well, I can tell you eventually what will happen is one guy will start to 
you, you start organically wanting to spend more time with him. Sure. Now, that doesn't mean that you just start dating him because guess what? He still has to show you that he's dependable, that he's inspiring, he's complimentary, and he enhances your life. And if he's got a little competition, it just might and make him just, step up to the plate a little more. Isn't that the worst rumor? When you hear that men don't want competition, girl, men love oh. competition. Yeah, they love winning. <laughs> they Who love winning. That? Real quickly, I want to get this in, because your show from the bottom up, not yes. only are you inspiring in terms of being a single woman out there, yes. just making the world her own, um, but you're also in this show, this reality show, showing people you can fall, Absolutely. but this is how you get back and up. you can get back up. The show is on Centric. It's been an amazing experience. Queen Latifah is our executive producer, along with Nikki Gilbert from No Ego. And I can tell you, this show is about women winning. It shows you, yes, exactly like you said, Holly, you can fall down. But guess what? Getting back up is up to you. Right. And charting your life and being successful is up to you. It all starts here in your mind. And then you take the actions to do that. It's been the most amazing experience ever. I never thought I would do reality. I was going to say, are you enjoying yeah. It because it's different. Oh, no, 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 it is different. I'm right. enjoying it because you're you are a political animal, you know, you're out in front and center in Atlanta, and this is a little bit different. It's a lot different, right. but I can tell you what I like about it. It's not, um, how can I put this because I don't want to talk badly about any reality shows. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, no, we're not throw, okay, There's we're not throwing glasses, cups, right. shoot, um, kicking people, right. doing this craziness that I, I mean, I, we just don't engage in that. If we do have some conflict, we engage. Absolutely, because women are supposed mm -hmm. to have opinions, and yours may be different than mine. Right. But that's where it stops. We're not doing all that craziness that sometimes you see on these other shows. Mm -hmm. But I want to say I'm in D.C. Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm going to be hosting an event at OTI. I'm so excited. It's Conversations and Cocktails with me, Stacey nice. J. Yes, so it's tomorrow night from 7 until 10, and it's in, let me get it right, Largo. Largo. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> we'll put it, we'll put it on Largo. And, and we can yes. get your book. And wow. you can get my book. Thank you, Holly, on my website, which is StacyJJohnson.com. And you can also get it on BarnesandNobles.com and okay. Amazon. Nice. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yes, honey. Date Girl. We're everywhere. Yes. <laughs> date Girl. Don't you love date that? Date Girl. I, love I think date I want to start saying it like you, Allison. Yeah. Date, date Girl. Girl. Date Girl. <laughs> All right. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so it much. Really has. I'm so watch excited the show. to be here. Thank and you. read the book if you're single. <laughs> exactly. Mm, All probably, right. Probably good advice for, for people who are married, too. No. Um, oh, well. Let me yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that, Allison. Over to the boys. Over to the boys on the couch. Enjoy that for one second. She knows your material. Hey, well, no part of what Allison just said. Not at all. Hey, speaking of knowing their material, he is back right now with a special.